What's up, Pen Daily crew? I'm Nora, and today we're going to take a closer look at the latest Motorola phone. Since being acquired by Lenovo in 2014, Motorola has released a bunch of phones. But today we're going to take a closer look at their most recent phone, the Motorola P50. But actually, it's just the Lenovo One Vision, but that has been rebranded for China. Now, the first thing I noticed about this phone is how long it is. It has a 6.34 inch screen with a 21 by 9 ratio. So it's very slender and it's perfect to use with one hand. And I really love that about it. Instead of a notch, Motorola went for a punch hole selfie camera design. And I find it quite distracting and I would prefer just a notch in this case, to be honest. You can unlock it with your face or use the fingerprint sensor in the back, which has the Motorola M logo inside. It also has a headphone jack at the top and a micro SD slot for extra storage. And about the screen, the 21 by 9 ratio is often used in movie theaters, but it's rarely seen in phones. A lot of content out there is created with the wider smartphone in mind, so you'll see black bars on the sides a lot of the time. But it has the perfect dimensions for Blu-ray movies, although you'll have to live with a large black hole in the corner of the screen. Kind of ruins the cool Blu-ray experience for me. Another advantage of the long screen is that there's more room when using the split screen function, so you can display more content. Unlike most mainstream phones, the P50 does not have a Qualcomm or a MediaTek chipset, but instead sports the Samsung Exynos 9609 processor, which is very rare for a non-Samsung phone. This is a low-end to mid-range chipset, so it's maybe more suitable for performing day-to-day -day tasks rather than hardcore gaming. And another interesting feature is the motion gesture. You can just twist the phone like this and it opens up the camera. So you can just take pictures like that. And then if you want to open the flashlight, you just shake it like this. I'm not sure how much I would use it, but I don't know, it's sort of useful, right? Now, you can't change what these gestures do, and I do wish that you could customize it. Maybe open a payment app or something. The rear has a dual camera setup with a 48 megapixel main camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensor, which is decent but not wildly impressive. I would have loved to also see a telephoto or a wide angle lens. I'm also not a huge fan of the UI. Motorola uses Lenovo's ZUI, and the aesthetic isn't really my cup of tea. The app icons are not very uniform, and the animations aren't very smooth, and it can be a bit laggy. So for 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, this phone sells at $350, or 25,000 rupees. I'd say that's an average price for an average phone, you know? It's perfect if you love the Blu-ray movies and if you like to use your phone with one hand. All right, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'm Nora from Pendaily, and I'll see you guys next time.